All right, everybody, as I mentioned in the previous video, in this video, we are going to learn about seismic waves. All right, so seismic waves. Um, seismic waves are the waves that are generated during earthquakes, and these waves can travel inside the Earth, which is called the body wave. And they can also go to the surface and travel along the surface of the Earth, and that is what we call as the surface waves. And we can actually subdivide each of this um, seismic wave type into two. Uh, for body waves, we have P waves and S waves. For the surface wave, we have R and L waves. And we're going to see each of them in the next few slides. So this is the first example of a body wave, which is called the primary waves or P waves. Uh, P waves are compressional waves because they propagate by changes in rock volume. So, for example, there are some compressed part of the earth, compressed part of the rock here that travel in this direction. Okay? And I will have some illustration as well um, in, the, uh, in the slide after this. But these are, P waves are some of the, uh, P waves are the fastest waves among all four types of waves that we know, okay? And the velocity can reach up to six kilometer a second and they can travel through solids and liquids. So it doesn't really matter the type of materials that it's uh, going through, um, whether it's solid or liquid, um, P waves will just go through all of them, okay? And here is an example of how P waves uh, travel. So for example, this is a slinky right here. And then the slinky will be disturbed by this person on the left. So uh, there will be some waves traveling from point A to point B to the right. So let's take a look at this example. So I'm going to play this video right here. All right, as you can see here, there's actually the compressed part of the slinky that travels from point A here on the left to point B on the right. Okay, and that is what we call as the compressional waves. Okay. Okay, I'm going to continue the video. There you go. There you go. Okay, that is an example of P wave or you know pr uh, primary wave. Okay. So the second example is called body waves. Body waves. Um, excuse me. All right, body waves are shear waves because these particle motions, they actually move perpendicular to the wave propagation direction. So the particle motion goes to the side here, <clears throat> whereas the wave propagation is going uh, to the right. So there's a perpendicular relationship between the particle motion and the wave propagations. And this is what we call as a shear waves. Okay, and this is the second fastest wave after the P waves, and this would be the velocity right here. And S waves, they travel only within solid material. So S wave cannot, uh, cannot travel through liquid material. Okay, and so that's the unique part of S waves. All right, this is just, again, to illustrate how um, S waves travel. Again, this is a P waves where you have the uh, compressed part of the slinky traveling back and forth right there. And there should be, there you go. That's an example of how S waves travel inside the Earth. Basically, as you can see here, there's a particle motions going this way, all right? Um, and that is how S waves travel uh, during earthquakes. And uh, the next two examples will be part of the surface waves and the first example of the surface waves is called the Rayleigh wave or we sometimes call them just R waves, okay? R waves have rolling motions right underneath the ground uh, surface right here, uh, just like the ripples that we have on the surface of the uh, of a water, for example, right? If you throw a rocks into uh, a lake, for example, it will create a ripple that looks something like this, right? And that's basically the same analogy for Rayleigh waves or R waves. And the last example of a seismic wave is called L waves or love waves. And love waves, they are moving side to side like this, like a snake. 
okay the ground basically swings to the side like a like a snake all right that is what we call as love waves or l waves okay and both l and r waves they travel very slow um and they're basically the slowest among the, the you know compared to the other uh, two types of body waves okay and here is some illustration of how these waves move so p waves moves with compressional compression within the rocks s waves move side to side like that okay that is s waves that's how s wave moves inside the earth and then this is love waves that are moving side to side like a snake on the ground remember that L love wave is a surface wave and this is how Rayleigh waves moves along the ground okay again both L and R waves are examples of surface waves whereas P and S waves are body waves okay so in the next video we are going to learn how to measure earthquakes and I'm going to show you uh, I'm going to see you in that video bye bye now